Hi guys, welcome back to another video. You're on the dashboard of a very bumpy van right now, so I hope this is okay. Um, we are currently on our way to Coral Bay. We left Monkey Mire this morning at like 7 a.m. There's a great bakery in Monkey Mire if you are there. I have already posted, I will have posted a vlog of that already, so you can watch that here if you want. Um, but yeah, so the drive from Monkey Mire to Coral Bay is about six to seven hours, depending on your speed. Um, it's about two, half one in the afternoon now. So we're gonna get there, have a look around. We're gonna do some free camping tonight um, because there's only two campsites in Coral Bay and they are both full because it's the summer holidays for the children. So we didn't know that, but anyway. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be doing, we're here for like three days. So we've got two full days and like either side half a day. So yes, we're gonna plan on doing a lot of snorkeling because apparently the snorkeling is amazing here because it's on the Ningaloo Reef. You can also swim with whale sharks and manta rays. Um, so we've got all that good stuff. So I shall show you when we get there. So I was gonna start my proper uh, vlog tomorrow. So I'll start with a full day, but we've actually just spent the last couple of hours on the main beach, which is um, called Coral Bay Beach. Um, so we've been over there, so we were snorkeling over this bit because you can see the dark bit where the coral is um, and it's so cool, you see so many fish and we've just been sunbathing and I saw a fin and there's a dolphin just like play, I think it's fishing because you can see fish jumping out of the sea. So I literally just picked up my phone and sprinted towards it and I've just been following it for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what we're doing now. And I think we've walked around onto a separate little beach and some I heard a man tell his son that all of this bit here, here, so this is slightly away from the main beach, the main beach is over there, you walk around. This bit is actually um, a shark, a shark like reservoir, um, so you're not like allowed to fish here and I guess it's where sharks come to nurse. One day I didn't wear my bucket hat and I've got so burned, so you know, a lesson learned. Oh, oh look, there's a big one there. Oh wow, look how close they are, look. All of those dark shadows. <laughs> oh, there's like three here, isn't there? So it's about sunset now, we just got some takeaway pizzas from Reef Bar. This is like the communal ground um, in front of a couple of the resorts and just in front of the sea as well. The sun is setting. Let me show you. So this is sunset over the main Coral Bay Beach. Very pretty. Um, so this morning we got up and last night we stayed in the Linden rest linden river rest area because there's only two campsites in coral bay um and if you can't book into either one of those you can stay at the rest area it's like 45 40 minutes away from coral bay so honestly it's not too bad we got up 7 30 and then just came straight here we just went for a coffee at like the local cafe i will say like it's a beach seaside um resort a beach seaside like area but the facilities like aren't, they're just not super modern, which is fine because people come here so they can snorkel on the Ningaloo Reef. So you're not really coming here for the facilities, which is why they can get away with it. Um, but this morning, it's like 11.30, we have hired some kayaks. So we're gonna go out in some kayaks. I'll just put in some GoPro, GoPro footage because I'm too scared to take my phone. Um, so yeah, I will show you that. We're just gonna go and get some seasickness tablets. Um, <sighs> and then get the canoes. <laughs> so I hope you can hear me because it's very windy. Um, but we took the canoe uh, kayak out for about an hour. Usually they do glass bottom ones, but they were out of service, so that's a shame because we really wanted to we'll be able to see underneath because it's quite wavy, you can't actually see that much. But what we did is actually I got the GoPro and I'll see if I can put some footage in here like whilst I'm speaking. I got the GoPro and just like held it out of the water whilst we were paddling. It was pretty cool because then when 
we look back at the footage um, just now, we can see a stingray that was underneath us and we had no idea. So what we've done, and how I would highly recommend it if you are going to come to Northern in Coral Bay, so this is the main beach. Um, yesterday we were sat over there when I told you that we were walking. And you can see the, the light blue is um, sand. Oh, it's so windy, I'm so sorry. The light blue is sand and the dark blue is where the coral starts and then the actual sea, like, you can see way in this sea, there's waves breaking. That's where actually like the deep ocean starts. So there's usually a, a current, like a flow, that goes around this way. So best way is to get to walk all the way around to the end of the beach, um, walk out here and just snorkel all along the like the light and dark blue divide. You barely have to swim because the current takes you and it can take you all the way along and you don't have to stress about being dragged out to sea because the current just takes you to the opposite end of the beach and then you get out there. It was absolutely incredible. Um, we didn't take the GoPro just because it was the first time we were doing it seriously and we didn't want to, I, I, I didn't know, like, I don't know, I just didn't feel so comfortable doing it, um, but we will definitely do it again tomorrow and take the GoPro out uh, take the GoPro out because it was unreal, Coral is so cool. So yeah, again, it's very, very windy, so you might not be able to hear me again, and I'm really sorry guys. Um, so today's our second day in Coral Bay, our second full day. Um, my boyfriend and my sister this morning went on a manta ray tour. Um, I didn't go with them for one reason or another. Um, but the GoPro broke, so they won't even be able to show me any footage, which is a shame. But it's one of the best things, like one of the re most recommended things to do, the manta ray tour, and also swimming with whale sharks. But I believe you can only do that in certain seasons. And I don't think, obviously it's September, or well, October now, but I don't think uh, these two months are the seasons. I think it might be summer, um, where like, you're more likely to see them. So I've just been sunbathing and snorkeling on the reef um, just out of Coral Bay and it's lunchtime so we're going to go get some food. Uh, yeah. Hi guys, so I'm just going to, uh, this video is basically a hot mess. I'm so sorry about it. It's so windy the whole time. Like looking back, the audio is so awful. I don't have like a, because like a, I'm just doing a recording on my phone, I don't have like a proper mic. So I definitely need to get like a camera where I can actually like plug in a mic and get some footage when it's windy without being so so annoying um, but also like the rest of the trip in Coral Bay like because it was so windy I just found that I wasn't filming very much um, so I mean I hope you can see like enough I really hope I explained like the reef situation because on the footage you can see like when it is super windy you can see that like you can see the crystal clear like blue sea and then it goes like dark dark blue black um, and that is where the coral starts. So basically you can just, if you're not like a super comfortable snorkeler or if you just get freaked out in the dark, in like the ocean, then you can basically just um, swim out to like the change of color and s swim like just where the coral starts and you'll st still see like absolutely amazing things. So yeah, it was really, really lovely. Overall loved Coral Bay for the like um, snorkeling experience. I can hear. That there's a little dog outside my room um the town i would say is like pretty dated like i think if you're not staying in one of the resorts oh two sex <laughs> good girl you sit down um, I would say if you're not staying in one of the resorts, then like you'll probably notice that it's a bit dated, but the resorts are obviously very, very modern. So if you are like in a campsite or like a camper van, then um, you probably won't even notice it. But yes, seeing the Ningaloo Reef was absolutely amazing. And then after that, we headed back down to Perth. Um, and then my next vlog that I pick up is in uh, Rottnest Island. So I'll see what footage I got of that. But if it's windy, honestly, I'm sorry um but yeah so hope you've enjoyed the video i hope it's been helpful a little bit and i'll see you in next week's video bye bye yeah <laughs>